all right what is up guys it's your boy caliber here and today is i'm gonna come at you guys with a warframe video um if you guys don't know what warframe is it's pretty much a really like space ninja type game it's free to play and you just do missions and get more characters i guess and before we start doing stuff i'm going to show you guys the build on my ibarra um for all of you warframe players out there who play warframe um so yeah so my ibarra i i put a reactor on it and i that's it i only put a reactor on it because i don't need to perform in it because i still have 10 capacity and everything's um, all the way upgraded except for my vitality but i can upgrade that later so I have a fully upgraded energy siphon which regenerates your um, energy um, from time to time. It doesn't give you like a lot, it gives you like one energy like per three seconds I think or so. Don't quote me on that but I think that's what it does. And um, it's, it's really useful when you don't have like energy blocks around you. You can just get one and go around. I um, also have a continuity mod which um, gives the duration of the power makes the duration longer um, so pretty much I can use stuff longer like uh, my cloak and all that stuff it just takes longer um, stretch I don't know why you stretch on your I don't think I'm, uh, I'm trying to see if there's any ability to use. I mean I guess I could use stretch for the cloak arrow yeah the cloak arrow I'm pretty sure I can use it for that I don't know, but I have stretch on it for just for stretch. Um, also have intensify, which um, alerts brings up the strength of the power. And um, I use um, the Artemis bow a lot. That's kind of why I modded it this way because I use Artemis bow a lot. So I use intensify to bring up the strength so that the Artemis bow can um, closely one shot them, somewhat one shot them. Um, also use flow to get more energy. Um, more energy capacity so i can use artemis bow a lot and i think this combo flow with streamline is like the best combo ever because not only do you have a lot of energy but streamline lets you use a little bit of that energy at a time so now, instead of you using like 25 energy you use only like 10 or 15 which i think is really cool because you don't use a lot and then you have the redirection mod which puts up the shield because Yubara is kind of squishy, she, she's really squishy, um, her shield is only 740, which, I mean it's a lot, but it's not a lot, it's more than Loki's if you um, upgrade it all the way, no it's not, don't, 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 don't do that, um, but it, it's, it's okay, I also have Rage, because she is squishy, um, her armor is really low, so her shield drops down a lot, and because I use the Artemis bow, when I want to use the Artemis bow for a long time, I use Rage, which pretty much when you take damage health, you get 40% um, of that damage to the health, it turns into energy, which you can get it, which gives you more energy, where you use Artemis bow, and then Vitality for health, so she won't die as quickly. Um, let me see if I can upgrade my vitality. But the crit, because the crit is already at like 50%, so to bring it up more, I put point strike on it. Serration for all around damage. Speed trigger to make it faster, because why not? Um, rupture for the impact because it damages them on impact, which gives them more damage. So I kind of think it's more. Um, Sawtooth Clip for slash damage for like enemies with like oh a really high shield. I'm gonna go ahead and attack their health instead of their shield. Um, sort of like infested. Um, critical delay which gives me more crit. With, but it also lowers down my fire rate. But since I have speed trigger on, it still makes um, the dread is still the fire rate for the dread is still faster. Um, I also have every mutation because for some reason I seem to run out of um, arrows really really quickly and also have um, piercing hit for extra puncture but I think I'm gonna pharma um, pharma my dread so that uh, my uh, I can get like a stronger piercing hit like I can get this piercing hit 
seven accuracy hit so that the puncture can be better so i think i'm going to do that now need to polarize this one to a this okay Oh, nice. I don't like that. I'm also using this um, that kind of micro puncture, but it's unlinked. Um, I don't know. But I can still use the stuff, so I'm going to use the uh, serration. Um, and the punch strike. And I'm also going to use arrow mutation. Like that. Alright, here's your arrow mutation. So, yeah. So, those are the three I'm going to use as of now until I level up my dread again. Um, for despair, I don't use um, secondaries that much. I just use them to you know, play around when I die. Um, but I just use half razor shot for slash, quick draw for the reload speed. Um, check mag to get more. Um, need to charge to burn them and pistol gambit for higher crit. And uh, I just got this weapon, so I don't have any mods to build on it. So on my Nakana Prime though. I use Berserker mod to make it really faster, and I don't know why it doesn't have a stance mod on it, I think, hold on, I don't know why there wasn't a stance mod on it, minus 10, what is that, what, okay, I don't know why, I don't, I don't know what this is doing um, if you guys know what's happening please let me know in the comments but anyway I have this berserker mod to make it faster which and it also brings up um, crit so it brings up the crit and it makes it faster and faster with crit kind of like it um, I will have me lay pow prowls which brings up the status chance quickly um, so you know I can shock people faster and then I have shocking touch to shock people um, theory to make the sword faster even though before the berserker mod um, spawns in because it does um, it doesn't always happen it's not just like forever it's like 30 seconds I think you get it for and then if you keep getting more hits and it like, restarts then I have pressure point for overall damage and I have heavy trauma for impact damage so yeah and uh, I'm gonna use my Paris Prime though instead of my Dread because it you know, got formed. Um, so on my Paris Prime, I haven't used it in like a long time. So I have Serration for overall damage, and then I'm gonna use another Sawtooth Clip, Sawtooth Clip for higher slash damage, and then I'm gonna put a Crit mod on it to give it more. No, I don't. I don't have enough. Dang it. Okay, I'm gonna find another point strike. Cause I know I have more than one. Put crit on it. Um. Mm, use a um, leveled up speed trigger, which should put it up just by a little bit. All right, and I think. That's it. So now we're just gonna do um, one mission, and I'm gonna show you. Oh wait, I guess we're gonna do that in a chain alert. But um, by the way, as of now, I am building the Mag Prime. Um, I was gonna sell it, but nobody wanted to buy it, and I looked at her in the in the codex, and I used to have um, the regular Mag, but I didn't like the way. Um, her health and shield was because she kept dying like every time she got shot so I did not like it but the Mac Prime was better and I like the new um, passive thing she has so yeah and I'm guessing we're gonna do this Natane Extract for the mission and I'm gonna show you guys that I can use my Artemis bow for pretty much the whole um, Enough for energy, to, more energy to drop or so. 
then you should be straight. So I'm gonna use my Artemis bow. I wanna use it for the rest of the for the whole game. So yeah. Alright guys, so pretty much as you guys can see, I've been using my Ivar's last ability for the whole mission and I haven't ran under 100 pieces of energy. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you liked it, subscribe to me and leave a comment down below so I can hear what you guys have to say. It's been more to here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.